Hey everyone and welcome to the video. When you see the bland 3D graphic for the new Ghost in the Cell, it might be a deal breaker. I would agree, but I had seen some anime use 3D well, so I was willing to give it a try. Maybe it would improve later on, or look decent on certain scenes. But no, it's terrible all the way. The story doesn't really help much since it only picks up on second half. Probably the only good thing is the opening. It has a banger soundtrack with this Westworld opening rip-off scene. Ghost in the Cell and Cowboy Bebop were the titles that got me into cyberpunk-style anime. So I had fond memories and also some high hope for the new series. I don't wanna speak ill about the franchise, but honestly this visual is terrible. So let's start with the most glaring flaw. Also don't worry about the background clips. They are eye candy from the better 3D anime. SAC2045 just looks unnatural, both in design and motion. Every character looks like a rigid doll, as there's barely any depth, facial expression, or sometimes even shadow. They have this overly glossy texture for the skin or surface of any object that just seems so off-putting, you will always subconsciously feel something is off. It's worse when put into motion. There's no sense of weight or momentum, and also the aforementioned lack of shadow. So you are left with objects seemingly let off each other. To make matter worse, they try to do these effects like smoke from the guns, the dead trail from vehicles, or just haze in the nighttime. I wouldn't call them effects, more like someone photoshopped smoke image onto the screen. The haze on nighttime is the worst, because combined with bad lighting, you cannot see anything at all. This scene happens on the first few episodes. Most anime today would present gorgeous spectacle for the opening, so you can get people interested. Ghost in a Cell looks like it's actively trying to repel audience. This shouldn't have happened, because there are scenes later on where the lighting and shadow work properly on nighttime. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's decent. So they can make it work, they're just inconsistent, which is not much better. Most 3D anime have clear objective, maybe to deliver fight scene or big mythical creatures. Ghost in the Cell just seems like they don't know what they're doing. There are some screenplays that could have been decent, but with this sketchy 3D, it just looks unintentionally funny or downright incomprehensible. For example, the fight with post human. They want to make it seem like superhuman ability, but it just looks dumb as though the characters are fumbling while being drunk. I've heard people saying that it's last gen graphic, but that's an understatement. There's game from PS2 era that had better graphic. Ghost in the Cell is a legacy title, primarily on Netflix, from production IG, which not only made previous titles, but also FLCL and Psychopaths. This level of quality is just unacceptable. So it relies on the story to fall back into, and unfortunately, it takes around 5 to 6 episodes to come together. The first half of the season is just random side quests. The team takes on multiple jobs, and I appreciate it's trying to set the social or political aspect early, but it really didn't go anywhere. I thought it was probably to introduce a new character for Section 9, a more comical mercenary. He might fit the team since they are mostly gloomy to lighten the mood, so to speak. But no, the newbie just pissed out after a few episodes, so the whole thing just looked random. We do have the new female engineer assistant, but she is the typical cutesy whimsical anime girl. The main story involves post-human, individuals who suddenly awaken superhuman abilities, and they reform Section 9 to hunt these threats. It's actually quite interesting. We see a veteran that could survive after being put into a coma, or a boxer who can punch people's heads off, literally. It goes into a neo-noir thriller, and the ensuing chase for these post-humans is pretty good. There's different kind of tactic for each post-human, which takes advantage of the technology gimmick. Sadly, it only gets interesting much later, almost at the end of the series. I don't really see people trudging through some of the worst parts long enough to this point. They probably want to set up for another season, but it's just a hard sell. I'd like to be optimistic, and there are some decent parts here, 
Maybe they could make it better, polishing the 3D or even reverting back to 2D. In fact, the visual for Psycho Pass would fit quite well. For the moment, Ghost in Cell SAC2045 is just underwhelming. It will most likely disappoint the fans, and certainly not going to draw any new audience. Set time all around. Thank you for watching, please leave a like and comment. Consider subscribing and share with your friends. I make 3 videos every week. Have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next one.